Hi, Taurus. It's Leslie with your your year ahead. Your year ahead for you, and um, and and this is this is a different year for you. It's time for things to change for you, and they will. Get ready for 2021, Taurus. 2020 was historically awful, and now we must collectively pick up the pieces and move on with our life. Pick up the pieces and move on with your life. The next 12 months will include some of the life-changing opportunities and decisions regarding your professional life and your love life, um, and it's and home and your home life, which is which is your love life also, but your home life where you're taking care of your home and things you want to do. So be ready to make money moves. It's with the money, and that's money is going to be very important and very um, up to the fore for you this month. Eccentric Uranus, Eccentric Uranus has been in your sign since March of 2019. Um, it's going to, and, and June 14th, and finally, Friday, December 24th. June 14th will be of this year, and December 24th of this year. Um, and it makes things, for, for the first time in two and a half years, which makes where conservative thinking clashes with revo revolutionary ideas. So you're going to be thinking much more more conservative, actually. As a lover, planet Venus uh, enters your sign on Wednesday, April 19th, uh, April 14th, excuse me, 2021. Uh, you're feeling confident and good about yourself, a feeling that's refreshing for you. You don't usually feel that good. Uh, and love is going to be coming into your life, and it could be someone coming back, which you're always happy when someone comes back, uh, but just make sure this is what you really want. Um, um, lucky planet Jupiter is also in your 10th house for most of the year, and that's why the professional is very important. That is, that is your job, your profession. Um, there are four eclipses this year. Eclipses are cosmic wild cards, and they really are. They could bring about sudden endings and unexpected news, um, depending on where they are for you. They could bring safe they could bring that about and play it safe and low when, when you know those eclipses are. Play it very safe for yourself. Pay special attention to the solar eclipse on Wednesday, June 19th. And June 10th is the starting of it. Watch your words. Don't get in an argument. Don't be, don't be mean to people because it will come back to you in a bad way, especially when the eclipses are going on. Um, um, don't be... Be careful. This sounds strange, but be careful not to say the wrong thing to the wrong to the wrong person in bed. I mean, wrong thing, you know, to the person you're in bed with, um, and prepare for an attack of the of the of the uh, exes. All your exes may you may have a few exes and you just one coming back and um, not being very happy with you about something. This is somebody fairly new in your life in the last year or two, um, and they make you feel. Maybe that make you look at yourself. I'm not quite sure. Um, don't let anyone get in the way of your progress. Don't do that, Taurus. Uh -uh. Don't let yourself let negative thinking turn into a spiral, uh, down a, a downward spiral for you, because you have you have a tendency you could get negative about things. This year is right for you to enjoy all the blessings of your ruling planet Venus and love and money is coming to you this month. Have a great year. Bye bye. Oh, you have to do your cards. I have to do your cards for you. I'm sorry. If I didn't have Sue, I don't know what I would do. <laughs> don't mind me. And your, your cards for the year say, you really have learned to stand up for yourself. Uh, sometimes in a right way, sometimes not in the right way, but here you are. Standing, you get back up and dust yourself off and start all over again. And that's very true. Here you are getting very strong and watching your, watching your temper because you know you have to worry about that. But you're very strong in what you want to do. It's very, very, very good. Here's love coming to you. Um, in the near future, could be somebody, this, this could be somebody from the past. This is almost someone who should be in your life because you have so much more in common than uh, you do with other people. Uh, not just not just um, not just the physical, but mentally, and you have some, you, things you really agree on. You're kind of like kindred spirits. You uh, can be apart, and yet you're still together. It's been that way since you met that person. Um, and 
here you are with this person coming coming alive again, coming alive again. Um, and decide if that's what you want to do. Um, you're getting getting away from your rough waters to still waters to a peaceful shore, and you're really doing this and, and making peace, making peace with a lot of things in your life, which is really different and very good for you. Here you are. Um, someone in your life is, is very strong, trying to help you. It could be a relative, uh, it could be a friend. Um, they're going to be very, very good for you. Uh, the more you listen to them, the better it is. And this is going to pick your angel card for the year. And it is Love is a Staff of Life. Very good. Have a great year. Bye bye.